Forest? Houses? Forest? How could this be? snakes, and any kind of forest animals. Did you know this forest is right near our house? Come on! See? Right there is the forest we were in. Over there is a lot of forest. There is also a forest over there. And there! Forest? Houses? Forest? How could this be? This is what we call forest fragmentation. Forest fragmentation is when large forests are broken or reduced, either naturally or man-made, into relatively smaller and isolated patches of forests known as forest fragments or forest remnants. It begins by the clearing of the forest either by wildfires, resulting to forest patches that are separated by a natural open space in between, or through logging or the massive cutting of trees of the forest called deforestation, as forest lands are converted into subdivisions, roads, agricultural lands, and other land uses by people, leading to the patchy and disconnected forest islands. So what would happen? Forests are homes to 80% of the world's biodiversity. As forests are fragmented, it results to habitat fragmentation or the corresponding reduction in size of the homes of the forest plants and animals. This change in structure threatens their survival, causes population declines and even deaths of some of the most sensitive forest organisms, an event known as biodiversity loss. In addition, forest trees like all green plants, take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen during photosynthesis. Meanwhile, excess carbon is stored in the tree, helping it to grow. Because of this, forests help stabilize our climate by absorbing one-third of the carbon dioxide that are released from human activities such as the burning of fossil fuels. However, as forests are fragmented, trees that are cut down and burned or allowed to rot, release their carbon back to the environment in the form of carbon dioxide. Also, as forests get fragmented and reduce in size, many of the carbon dioxide remain unabsorbed, contributing to the increase in carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere. Now, why is this a problem? Carbon dioxide is among the greenhouse gases that trap the sun's radiation from the Earth's surface and reflect it back as heat known as the greenhouse effect. This results to increase in temperatures around the planet termed as global warming and large-scale shifts in weather patterns known as climate change. So what can we do? We can follow these three important steps. Restore, reconnect, plan ahead. We can help restore and reconnect the forest fragments together by planting forest corridors and forest bridges, which would facilitate movement of species and improve ecosystem stability. Another way to protect and conserve our remaining forest is by planning ahead. Avoidance of vulnerable habitats or forest fragmentation can be included in the planning, design, construction, maintenance, and monitoring phases of a proposed infrastructure or land use change. Forests are important to the plants, the animals, and us. So 
we need to protect the forest for our future generations. <laughs> Did you know? I thought I just started in the beginning. Again, louder. Go on up. I <laughs> 